Hello everybody and welcome back to Undermine the Golden Core update. We are gonna head back into the other mine again again again. Ooh, I said that very strange. Uh, but we are on the day of reckoning. A day that all of you have waited for. I am going to be doing the curse challenge. I have duplicated my save file. Um, I have set my, my crown to zero. So I don't I'm not gonna lose my streak or anything. And we are gonna go in and we are gonna try the cursed challenge. I don't know how many of you know what this is, but we pick this up, and from now on, now that we have that, from now on, ooh, that's nice. That's that's a that's a decent pull there. We're gonna take Battle Axe. We're gonna take Nico here. We're gonna take Fortitude over there. From now on, literally every floor, we gain a permanent curse, a permanent major curse that we cannot remove. So. Are you all ready for this? Because this is going to be some difficult stuff. This is a very good start, which is really nice. We're getting increased fall damage is our first one. Honestly, probably one of the better ones we could get. It's not going to affect us too much. But there is a few that I'm sure you guys can imagine. Did we just get a... We just got a 500 banger. There is a few that I'm sure you can imagine would be very, very detrimental to us, like Poisoned Mushroom. Few things like that. We're gonna we're gonna probably come across a few of those as we go here, but yeah, uh, getting that 500 right there and then is very very nice. I did not mean to hit that there. Okay, we're gonna probably end up losing a little bit of um, money here, but I am using battle axe, which is gonna make our, our life a whole lot easier, a whole lot easier because we can swing from a bit further away, which is very nice. Of course, he comes to life. Of course he comes to life. But yes, having this swing distance, although it was a small damage down, we had three damage ups to start, so I'm pretty happy with it. And we are going to try and get something good going on this floor. I'm really hoping that we can um, that we can make something work with... Oh, I'm probably going to get hit here. Nope, that didn't hit me somehow. I don't know how, but it didn't. Right. I really want to make something work with the shop, considering just how much money we have right now. We have an alarming amount. Now, taking extra curses is probably not going to be a good idea. So, taking blessings is just not something I want to do. Um, honestly, I'm fine with keeping this curse here. Uh, Bombushka. It's tempting. I don't really want it right now. Uh, no, do you know what? I'll take it, because it'll give us a bomb to get into the shop. It's, it's a bit of an odd take, but I'd rather not spend 150 to re-roll into what could possibly be a bad item. Let's just take what we get and get into our shop and see if we can get any big upgrades here. So, unfortunately, that's not going to be good for us. Both of these are very important. <laughs> Both of these are very, very important. For one, if we can get ourselves a, a, a cursed shop, a show goal that has the um, the lucky lockpick in it, we get unlimited keys, which is great. Also, I have a feeling there's going to be a few scenarios where we could possibly die. So, what's our next one? We get... Deal less throw damage. Yet again, another one that's not going to affect us terribly all that much. So, I'm very happy with this start. I'm very happy with this start. Oh, no. Okay. I'm trying to get all this money before it all gets taken away. But in doing that, I'm losing quite a lot of HP. I'm really not used to these gargoyles yet, so I'm taking a little bit more damage to them than I probably should. Let's uh, spend some money on uh, healing next, because we're already at fairly low HP here. Are you going to give me anything good? Oh, no, you're just going to come back to life. Will these ever not just come straight back to life? <laughs> Will I ever get a day where that doesn't just happen straight away? Right, what you got for us? Ooh, a ham straight away. And the map as well. Both of those are very incredibly good for us. Um, and I very much want them all. Oh, yes. Keys are good right now. We're doing well on the key front. I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy about all these bombs we're getting as well. Well, just all the everything we're getting right now. We're getting a lot of good stuff from various different places. We're not probably going to get enough for, um, for the map and everything else here. Whoa, this is a bit of an odd room. I've just spent two keys to get to my item room. This is bullshit. I've never had that before. Whatever, we'll do it. We'll do it. Minus flask. Could be quite nice. A chest here could be good. We could get... Ech. I was gonna say, we're gonna end up getting something that really helps us out with, um... Excuse me, sir. Really helps us out with buying the map there. But no, we got a chest that's useless to us. Um... 
We did get this, which is going to turn enemies into gold, which is quite lovely. Uh, but I don't think there's any way for us to get more money here, apart from this, which I am going to do. Going to risk it for a biscuit. I'm just going to take this because I'd rather have this on me. And let's just buy the map. The map's going to be very important here. Sadly, no food for us. We do have a secret room down here. But yeah, the map being able to find us secret rooms is going to be super, super important as we go forward here. That, of course, wasn't very important. Uh, but we'll head down. There could be another secret room back over there, but I'm not going to walk all the way back. We only have the one bomb anyways. So this time we got Chests and Mimics. Yet again, another one which is not great, but not terrible. I'm actually really happy with what we've got so far. Nothing's been ridiculously detrimental to us. Okay, set him on fire. Thank you. We don't really want to be attacking those, to be honest. Good, good. Okay, luckily we've got Nico as well here, which is going to help us out really nicely with swinging at enemies doing a little bit of extra damage. Because you can see already, he's, he's kind of stacking it up. He's kind of stacking it up. We don't have enough money to bother going into a shop yet. Get ourselves a key, that's lovely. These gargoyles are things we need to kind of look at basically insta-killing. Um, okay, we can do that. Nice. That got it. Nice one. These we're just going to auto-take. Because we've got minus flasks, so they're going to last longer anyways. Free food is marvellous. I don't think destroying those pots is going to yield us anything, really. Destroying those ones, however. Very nice. Inverter? Not going to be super useful for us, honestly. Uh, but I'm happy to have it. When we do remove curses, if we remove curses, it's going to be nice to have. I'll, I'll check it, but yeah, I knew it. He's never a nice boy. Ooh, nice. Not a mimic either. Immediately, I was like, it's going to be a mimic. Uh, that's close. Check in here. Bit more swing damage there. Yes, we'll go for the bomb and the swing damage. Okay, so far, so good. I'm I'm very, very pleased. Oh my god, that was bad. I'm very, very pleased with how this is going so far. I did not expect it to, to go this well. So, our first boss, please don't be Seer. Please don't be Seer. God damn it, it's Seer. <laughs> we do not have a throw build in the slightest here, so it's going to be very, very difficult to hit him reliably. And we don't have fire immunity either, which, as some of you may already know, is a big part of beating this dude quickly. So we're going to have to get out of the way of these bombs. Got to make sure we don't get in the way of all the jazz he's doing right now. Okay, good. We've got... Oh, no, I stood on his foot. Thank God we have a little bit of range right now. Luckily, Nico's going to be there doing a little bit of extra damage as well. Okay, good, good, good. Out of the way of that. One, two, three. Okay, he's doing his little eye thing. This is probably the best attack for getting good damage on him, to be honest. In fact, we, we've, we've almost killed him. I, did, I didn't really think about how low health he's going to have on this first floor here. First floor, he does not have a lot of health at all. Nice, we got him without even getting hit, really. We got hit once by his foot, and that was it. Very happy with that. Turned the food into golden food. Very happy about that, too. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm very pleased with how that went. And let's see. Leveled up our dude, which is nice. Um, not really anything super good here. Super good here. We'll take Waylands because you know, like being able to walk over spikes is quite nice. Reduce maximum HP. We'll take it. I hate it, but we'll take it. We can remove it. it has, that's like one of the worst curses, but I'd rather take it and have it be a removable one. And we get the du doubles the cost of penance, so removing it is harder. Good. Thank you, game. Thank you. Okay, that did not go how I wanted it to. Although, that's pretty nice. 
Okay, so just, just again, as we've said before many times with this curse, just pay attention. All we gotta do is pay attention. It's gonna cost us a hundred to remove a curse. We basically, if we want to remove a curse, we have to have healing in place and ready. Otherwise, it's just not. It's just not worth. Okay, get our secret room for free. Nice. A uh, bit of throw there. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Forgot about that. Luckily, the, the uh, I was going to say the Phoenix will be helping us out. We don't have the Phoenix. I don't even know why I thought that. Don't know where that thought came from. Cash removal. Okay, that's that's more important. We'll buy that because that doesn't cost us any H HP. Um, okay, I tried to use my potion there and it just didn't work. And I lost a bit of HP. Good, good. Kind of glad I didn't use my potion in the end, actually. Let's keep going. Okay, nice. That's kind of what we want. <laughs> that makes that getting that chest a whole lot easier for us, so thank you, game. Um, We can't get into either of these secret rooms. What do we have in here? Honestly, I'm going to take that for inverter. I know it sounds a bit dumb, but inverters... Hmm, actually, should we take it for Whalen's Boots? Yeah, let's take it for Whalen's Boots instead. Um, because getting more secret rooms is going to be really important for us because we have the we have the ability to see all the secret rooms. So I think that's going to be quite nice. I think that's going to be quite a nicey. Bit of food there, lovely. Don't know why I thought I could pick it up that way. Heading here. Got ourselves. That's actually pretty decent. We're going to be getting five damage already and we're not even that low on HP. Uh, let's go into our shop. Unfortunately, as much as I want the damage, we have to get rid of this curse. We have to. Nice, we got rid of it. Good, good, good. I don't know if that means it can't come up again now. I'm not actually sure on the uh, specifics of how that would work. Sadly, there's not any bombs we can get there. So let's just head down to our next floor and see what our next curse is going to be. We're going to get hit by an absolute doozy of a curse soon. I just know it, like poison mushroom or something. We just got to wait for that moment to happen. So right now, we are getting reduced potion slots. We quite literally cannot carry potions unless we manage to buy a new potion slot. Well, actually, no, we need to buy two. So basically, for the rest of this run, we don't have potions at all. Because I, I am unlikely to want to buy two potion slots because that would be like a thousand gold or something. It would be a lot. Trying to get a few rocks destroyed while I'm doing this. Apparently, didn't want to come over towards me though. Again, thank you for helping me here. Oh no. Such good potions. Damn you, game. <laughs> That's a pretty brutal one to get if you don't have any potion slots. Duplicator for three bombs. If we could afford that somehow, I would take that in a heartbeat. That is such a good deal. That could honestly lead to this run being so much better. Oh, I set myself on fire there. That's nice. This guy's a mimic here. Again, you wouldn't think it, but some of this is going really well with, like, the mimics. They're actually helping out quite a lot. Oh, that's lovely. Quite a massive HP increase there. Definitely want that. It's like a 30% increase or something like that, isn't it? Okay, stay away from my big bits of gold. No, you just carried it into a pit. Okay, we split one up. Nico's getting a few extra hits in there. We pushed that one in, nice. Last one. I don't know how he didn't manage to jump there. He kind of, like, got stuck. Right. Let us buy two bombs, at least. Come on. That does it. That does it. That helps. Again, we're missing out on damage, but for Duplicator, boy, it's worth it. I really should have actually waited for my item room until I got Duplicator, but at the same time, I don't think it's that big of a deal.
What a great deal. Aren't you an absolute babe? Um, I'm really tempted to sell Inverter. Let's see how much it sells for first. Beca just because I really don't think we're going to get much use out of it at all. Oh, yeah, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. That's enough. I really don't think we're going to get that much use out of it, like, at all. And I, I really think that we'd be better off spending our money on damage upgrades. I know Inverter is a good item, but it's only good if you have the means to use it, really. And we don't. We're not going to be taking on too many curses um, and all that sort of jazz. It's just not It's just not great. So we'll go for this instead. We'll buy a bomb, too. Get into a few secret rooms here and there. Darn, that's not a good secret room for us at all. I mean... Are they both mimics? Damn it, we can't reach them though. That's the only problem. If we could activate those somehow... Damn, if we could activate those somehow, we could get them to jump over to us without even having to open them. I don't know, I suppose it's worth the two keys actually, because we're gonna get in a lot of gold. Like, we got healing and we got a lot of gold. So I think it's worth it. May seem like a bit of an odd deal because two keys is pretty, like, worthwhile. Hey, there you go. He shows up. Please give us unlimited keys. I, that's probably one of the only things I'd, I'd be willing to take. Oh, look at that. One for two. The wham bam thank you ma'am deal. Got to be really careful with Mimics, because they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Right, let's go over to that shop over there. Of course, we're taking our time here. We're trying to get every single small available upgrade we can possibly get. I'm already very upset that we lost our ability to... Um, excuse me. We, I'm already very upset that we lost our ability to use potions. That's pretty sad. So, I wish we had the ability to use potions right now, because I'm pretty sure that potion, if it works with the major, like, indestructible curses, would be just bonkers crazy good. Like, insanely good. Three bumps for a curse removal would be nice if we had any curses we wanted to remove, but we can't remove any of the ones we actually want to remove, so there's not much point. Ah, oh, curse chests are so useless for us. God damn it. Right. Shogul. Please, 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 please give us the lucky lockpick. If you give us a lucky lockpick, we actually have a very good chance here. Damn you. No lucky lockpick. So, we could take the bag of ho the pocket of holding, but I, I honestly just think that them two just aren't worth it. For me, it'd have to be like Doomblade, Chakram, or lucky lockpick. Now we've got cost health to plant a bomb. Not the most detrimental thing in the world. It's going to be a little annoying. We're going to have to make sure there's healing on the floor before we go planting bombs. But for the most part... Did that hit me? My god. Apparently it did. Apparently it did. Can't do anything with that yet. That actually dealt damage to him. I didn't think it would. Nice. Oh, we should have we should have used them to uh punt as a bomb there. That was a rookie move right there. Okay, he's on his thing. Let's get over to him. Ow, the gaggles are so aggressive. Really gotta be careful around them. Nico's so good against those guys. Bit of healing there's lovely. Having a bit of heartiness is actually really nice here. Salamander's tail, very, very, very important for Nori. So we'll definitely pick that up. Makes Nori fight a whole bunch easier. And it just it's just extra damage as well, which is always nice. Getting a few bits of gold stolen here and there, but for the most part, it's not affecting us too badly. Let's head into here. Extra damage there, although that is 500. 500 for extra damage is quite the ask, and I don't think we're going to be able to get it. Don't think we're going to be able to get it. 
haven't really seen much of the bats on the other mine, to be honest. I don't know if they're like a lower chance or something, but I really haven't seen many of them at all. Now, we do have a three key chest here, which we can technically afford if we go and buy a key. I just don't think it's a good idea. Uh, we've got enough health, though, to where planting a bomb to get into a secret room isn't too bad. So I'm probably going to do that over here. And get into this secret room. See how much it costs. 18. That's not a lot of health at all. Oh, the twofer. The twofer one. Very, very worthwhile. Good amount of money. There's a chance with this we get into. I think I might even go into that other secret room over there. So sadly, it's a shrine. I just, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I just think they're never going to be worth using. We've got enough curses as it is, game. We have Willen's boots, don't we? Oh, no, we don't anymore. Okay, we can do that. Pretty scot free. Now we got our 500. Awesome. That worked out well. I definitely want to buy that damage. The thing is, the chance of getting a curse that reduces our uh, swing damage is pretty high. So we need our swing damage as high as possible for when that happens. I'll also buy a bomb. Right, now onto our boss. Let's see. Uh, what's our damage actually at the minute? 34 versus 4. Wow. Right. Ponzu, glad to get him out of the way with early. Glad to get him out of the way with early. Of course, he's going to be weaker at this stage, so... Glad to do away with him. Let our dude take care of the ads. Keep on swinging. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of a longer fight. We don't have great damage here. But I think for the most part, we're going to be okay here. Okay, and while he's like that, we got a big crit on you. Very nice. But the thing is, yeah, we're really... The, the, the big underpowered part of this run is we're not getting the regular blessings we normally get. Normally, a lot of our power creep comes from a lot and a lot of blessings. And we're just missing out on that entirely on this run. So we're having to be a bit more careful and think a bit smarter. But this is where like things like Duplicator become massively important. When you're losing all the power to... Um, Definitely need to get rid of you. When you're losing all of your power to um, blessings, then you need to make up for it when, with relics and smart decisions, basically. Okay. This is one that we have to really do our best to take care of here. So the poison guy can hurt a lot. But luckily, we only got hit once. I'm, I'm getting pretty good at Ponzu now. I'm getting to the point where I can most of the time flawless him if the fight doesn't last too long. If it lasts a lot longer, it's a lot harder because he spawns in more adds. Uh, okay. Doll is very important for us because with Doll, with Doll, we can do some good stuff. Now, disable two relics could be really bad. If it disables Battle Axe, we're in a bad position. So I'm just going to go with this for now. It's, it's not a great one. But oh wait, Doll's going to eat it, so it doesn't matter. I was hoping Doll would have been four charged, but instead it's unfortunately only two. Does mean that we can use a, um, a shrine though, this floor. Oh wait. No way. It blocks the curses. <gasps> no way. So we just actually blocked the curse this floor. I did not even think of that. That So Doll's very important. Sadly, we didn't get it on four charges, but if we did, that would have been so good. Doll's very, very important. Um, We're at full health right now. We can afford to bomb into some secret rooms. In fact, we got that health pretty much straight back, which is nice chest bit of extra gold and the bomb straight back for us as well yeah i didn't even think that doll could block the indestructible curses but the fact that it can that makes it probably one of the most powerful items to find in these runs even if we did only get a two charge version of it i was really hoping for the four charge version but you can never guarantee nice we're stacking up money we're on three 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 three, three, three. Ah, we're not on three bombs, though. You've ruined it, game. You've ruined it. Right, let's uh, ignore the the imminent death going on around us and just go and get our gold. Make sure we get our gold. Very important. Good, good. Head into the shop here. What you got for us, fools? Um, my Tursis is is nice for later if we get certain items. But honestly, right now, it's not that good for us. So let's just buy up all of this. Yeah, for right now, it's really not that good for us. We have nothing that's going to 
benefit from it. Not even Persians. Oh, thank God we killed him straight away. One of the most annoying enemies. Let's wait for this fire to disappear. I'm going to take these enemies out kind of one by one sort of thing. We can attack that and get the hell away. Actually opened up a nice hole here as well while there's no fire. Beautiful. Peep this. Get ourselves a key. Lovely. Lovely. It's going so well. Something's going to go so wrong though. Okay. Um, both of these are relatively useless, but throwing star can allow us to to get keys and things that are beyond walls we can't normally throw past. So I'm going to take that. Oh god, big boy. I forgot about big boy. Still absolutely love the sound he makes when you hit him. But I kind of forgot he existed for a moment. Kind of forgot he existed. Okay, I can't really afford to do that right now, especially considering we're going to be planting a bomb right now. And the exact same room again. Cheers, game. That's what I was looking for. Alright, make sure these guys get gone. And there you go. Easy, easy. We've got our um, one key item room here. Never going to use the four key one. Sadly, we didn't get our lucky lock picks. Savagery is good, but we just can't. We just can't take it. We can't. I'm sorry. It just don't work. We've not got much money, but I am going to bomb into here anyways. There we go. That's the sort of thing I was looking for. 100 for some extra HP. Then 50 to regain the HP we used for planting the bomb. That's the sort of thing I was looking for. Booyah. Right. What case are we getting this floor? Ooh. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Oh, it's the dripping fire. Um, not actually terrible. I can normally avoid the dripping fire fairly well. It can be a nuisance, but it's also quite avoidable, so. Wow, that dripped right on that guy. Oh my god. Right, I'm gonna go back and up in the secret room here, because I don't know why I just walked straight out of the room. I think it's because the fire was distracting me. It did it again. It's been so kind to us recently. Nice. Did it again. I'm so happy with it. it does that. It bounces just in the right direction to destroy a rock and reveal this to us. Oh. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. That was terrible. That We lost, like, a lot of HP to that because of Vertigo, too. A lot of HP to that. Damn. Okay, these guys need to go pretty soon. Good, good, good. They're gone before they even did anything. Very nice to see. Okay. We're clearing rooms very quickly without taking too much damage, though, which is, like, the best part about this. We're able to kill so many before they even get to attack. Getting good healing on rooms as well. I'm just very happy about this. And none of our curses... None of our curses are ridiculously detrimental. I'd say the most detrimental one we have is probably the ability to not use, like, the fact that we don't have the ability to use potions at all is probably the most detrimental. Um, Golden popcorn, it's a little late for it, I think. I'm not even going to bother with it. I think it's a little late for it, to be honest. I just can't imagine what we'd get that's going to make that really work. Like, in the last few floors, there's not enough stuff ready for us. Okay, nice. Let you two do your throw business. Probably get you both at once here. Yes, nice. Sadly, the skulls didn't land next to each other, but... Nevertheless, we got them. These guys are... Oh my god, they have a big hitbox. Wait, what's going on here? He's, like, frozen. Okay, they do that. I did not know that. Very nice to see that we can uh, quite easily uh, destroy that dude. Okay, that was bad. We lost all the HP there. Again. Galoshes. Uh, galoshes just aren't that good. I'll just take the blast suit. Do 
Why are we taking 22 damage from them now? Oh, damn. Oh, my God. I just made some major mistakes. We're going to have to buy a lot of HP here. Luckily, we don't have a lot of HP to buy, though. So that's nice. God damn, I just lost so much HP there. One key for some healing. Sorry, but I need it. <laughs> it's too important right now. Now, nah, we'll just go down to the next floor. See what our next curse is going to be. What's it going to be, then? Ooh. Ooh. Chance to drop a key when taking damage. Not terrible. Not great. Just do not get hurt by fire. Getting hurt by fire will will be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Glaive. I'm actually going to take Glaive here. Because if we take Glaive, we'll be able to throw her and pick stuff up a lot easier. Oh, shit. I didn't see you there, you fool. You pansy. Okay, got you. I really don't get why these guys aren't immune to fire. They really should be. Okay, I lost all the HP yet again there. To some bell schnickel. I can't do anything with, with uh, throw damage at all. It's worth spending to get into here to try and buy HP. It sounds stupid, but it is. It's a lot of keys. It's a lot of keys. But I have to spend 150 on all that. I gots to do it. I gots to. Oh my god. That's not fair. Do you see that? It pops up in the worst place imaginable. All that HP is gone now. Yeah, he pops up in literally the worst place he could have. Right in the grass here where I couldn't see him at all. Right, this sounds stupid, but I'm going to do this. Oh, shit. We just lost a key for that, though. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about the ability that that, that could happen. Oh my god, stop with the rooms where you want me to hurt myself. I don't want to hurt myself. God damn, the rooms at the minute are not friendly at all. It's annoying though, like, we're not really dying to our curses, we're just dying to bad luck. We're just dying because we're getting hit by stupid stuff. I like the fact that chests can sometimes have pilfers in them. <laughs> I always find that funny. Oh wait, what the hell? One second. There's a bunch of shops down here. But I can't get to them. Okay, then. That's a bit odd. Right, to the next floor, or boss, or whatever this is. Okay, I'm a bit worried for this boss. We do not have good HP in the slightest. Although it is only Selt. Which makes me a little, a little better. Although we can't use bombs on him, which is a bit upsetting. You'd have to, wouldn't you? Just, just now, you'd have to uh, launch out 16,000 children. What the hell, Cell? What the hell? Look how many fucking kids he spawned. Not today. Okay, I'm almost dead. Cell just ruined my life. Cell just absolutely ruined my life. Why did you spawn that many? Is there a, is there a thing where having more curses makes him spawn more of them? There must be. Because he spawned so many then. Oh, no. Okay, we got lucky again. Okay. 
kind of insane, actually, how lucky we're getting here. My god, we survived. Oh, my god. I I don't get that. The first few then, he spawned like 15. <laughs> we survived to live another day. We get ourselves more exuberance, which we desperately need. Okay, stash might be good. Although, bomb double is probably better for us right now. I mean, I'd rather take that. Both of them are pretty bad, though. All right, okay. What's our next curse? Slap it on me. Oh, and of course, the poison mushroom rears its ugly head. Good, that's gone. Poison mushroom, you bastard. Let's destroy that meat. How did I destroy that meat? What the heck? I'm very upset about that. Okay, I don't care about you doing your shit. Don't drop a bomb on him, whatever I do. Will not end nicely for me. Can't get into my shops now either. Ball's sake. Stop giving me curse chests. I can't do anything with them. Hyperstone. That's pretty nice. I am going to accidentally set myself on fire by them dropping fires at some point, and that's going to really mess me up. I'm just, I'm very upset right now that we've got poison mushrooms. That really doesn't help. Although our health is quite low, so it doesn't affect us, at least for now. Good, good, good. Can't go any of our shops because it's going to kill us. Oh, damn. Actually, no. Do you know what? Do you know what? I am going to go in a shop because it's not going to deal enough damage to kill us in one hit. But we will. Oh, we lost a key to that though. That's very annoying. We will get enough healing to out offset the bomb that we just lost. We can't carry that potion. That's great. Also, give us better food, please. Like, what's with all the bad food we've been getting? This could just destroy one of the keys we just got. It's okay, though. Okay. Back. We're back in a decent position. Not a great position, but a decent position. Let's keep going. This is some tough stuff. I can't believe how many times the lucky um, thingy, the, the little rabbit thing saved us there as well. Didn't really talk. I didn't even really talk about when it saved us. So I just thought, well, <laughs> maybe if I don't mention it, it'll happen more often. Right, nice. Got through that. The next curse. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Oh, boy. Oh, God. This is a really bad one. Because we've got the thing where it automatically destroys all the gold on the walls. Which means... Which means the pilfers automatically get activated. Which means they're going to be running around like crazy all the time. So, we basically have to prioritize picking up gold straight away to stop the pilfers running around like crazy. Stay the hell away from me, pilfers. Stay the hell away from me. This is going to be a nightmare room. Let's 
Let the pilfers pass by. We've just got to play it smart with the pilfers, honestly. They're not that bad. As long as we play it smart, they're not that bad. I think I just destroyed quite a lot of gold there. Oh, well. Give me some healing. Give me stronger food. Where's all the fish gone? God damn you, game. Where's all the fish? Iron room just down here. That was awesome. I, I, I loved the fact that we got all those kills so quick. Item room, what do you hold for me? Thank you. That's pretty good, actually. Could be able to slow enemies, deal a bit of extra damage. Okay, there is a fire there that's going to be trying to attack us. Good, good, good. Taking care of the enemies that are annoying first. Of course, that's gonna, not going to deal any damage to him. Oh, good, good, good. Right, not going to go to any extra rooms we don't have to. These guys are very important to kill very quickly. We cannot, whatever happens, get set on fire. Really bad if we get set on fire. How did that guy not fall off the edge then? <gasps> no! I don't even know how I managed that. That was so bad. It was so, so bad. Sure, Gul, you're showing up again. Are you kidding me? Do you really think I'm going to take your shit at this level? Okay. <laughs> Branding bombs. <laughs> Karmic scale. Oh, thank you. Right, what's he giving us now? Our last one is the fragile one where... I don't know. Things are fragile. What else, what else am I supposed to say? Ham hook. We have to wait and try and afford that. How he almost got me there. Okay, nice. Got through that. What have you got for us? Nothing very good at all, but I will guess I'll just take Guidance. Where's that gold? Get rid of you. Okay, this is a room that I'm very scared of. Okay, that did not go too badly at all. That, that was a room that I was very worried about. Yeah, where's all our gold, please? I need 150 gold. Oh, my god. I didn't even realize how terrible this room was. I got hit there as well. Lovely. Oh, my god. I got hit by the bomb as well. Wow, this room's terrible. Wow, that room is terrible. That room is a disgrace. I think I have to just buy the food, you know. I just have to buy what's there. I can't wait for my meat. Unless there's something I can get from, like, this room here. Can you not place fire right in the doorway, please? I could get that, but I could also die while trying to get it, so... I don't know if it's a good idea. Let's try and wait for the fire to fall on him. A little bit up. A little bit up. Oh, wait, we can just do this. I forgot about that. Yes! Huzzah! Go away, dripping fire. I don't need y'all. Okay, bat the, the blanket could be really good. I should probably try and get that, but I don't think I'll be able to afford it now. Okay, no more rooms like that previous one, please. Wow, that fire was close. Wow, that, that, that room's just a nightmare. <gasps> no, 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 I got set on fire. Oh my god, please, no, 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 Okay, I have no keys left anyways. I was worried about my keys, but I don't have any, so it's fine. 
Didn't deal that much damage anyways. What are you doing over there, dude? Why did you walk th over there? What do you think you were achieving? What am I doing? You're just bringing in more pilfers, you moron. <laughs> Forget about him. All you're doing is attracting more pilfers. Heck off. Right, tis boss time. It could be a number of bosses that could screw us. There's two, well, there could be two. Yes, it's Nori. Okay, Nori's the better one of the two for us here. Because we can light the fires back on. Oh boy, we've not got much health here at all either, so... Gotta be very careful of the dripping fire. Good thing is, we have a hell of a lot of attack speed, so... That is going to be very, very nice to have. Right. Keep going. Don't do anything stupid. This attack speed is insane, by the way. Absolutely insane. Really? You pile up the fire you were already on, you moron? You horrible, horrible. Play it safe, play it safe, play it safe, what am I doing? Okay. As far away as possible. Lead these around. Just please, please stand still for like two seconds, you moron. I did it. Oh my god. Cursed thing done. God damn, I did it. Whew. That was scary. But it is done. Whoa, okay. So does that mean that next time I do that? I don't know how that works. One second, let's let's figure this out. So that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. So now if I do my next curse run, I get increased stats, I guess. But that was awesome. Oh my god. Holy hell. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that challenge. It was a, definitely a fun one. We managed to beat it out first time. Very happy about that. Got some really good stuff there. And we got some really nice curses towards the start. And then the really horrible ones towards the end. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.